break time is over and we are back as you see the sky hasn't changed it was only a couple of minutes had to go get me some fresh coffee so there we go the eastern melon had here let us see if we can't find these deadly nightshade plants that we are looking for So which area is it? Malinhead or the Mythad? Mythad, okay. So we've got a ways to go yet. We need to be over in this area. That's gonna require us to cut through. I think we have to get, there is a uh, forested area that we have to get into. If I remember correctly, that one right there actually leads you through an orc camp and then possibly through a troll camp after that. So we'll try not to go through the, uh, is it the Gorthiad? The Gorathlad. Continue on down to the Mayathad itself. Should be right around probably this outpost outcropping of rock and into this forest here more Norbergs after all those undead and the various Angmarum it's almost a comfort to be seeing lizards and bugs again, no matter how foul they may be. All right, let's look for glowing plants. Deadly nightshade. Now we're actually still in the Gorthlad, and that's not too certain how far to the north and east of Mayathad that we need to be. Still running into a good number of orcs. And the various ward keepers and all. Check where we are on the map. All right, we need to be over in this area. We are still too far to the west. Let's go this way and see what we can find. Yeah, see, there's a... You can see the ruins of another evil castle over there. That's definitely an area we don't want to be in. Let's see if we can get into the actual Mayathad itself. thing Middle East is known for, and that's its evil blighted forests. Lord knows there are plenty of those about. I think it would be safe to say that even though it seems like all the wood is dead and all, I don't think you'd want to breathe the smoke that would come off of it if you burned it. All right, let's see what nightshade might look like. We've got to be getting close. Map time again. Ah, now we're far to the south of where we need to be, so... Let's head in this direction. Apparently, the Mayathad is part of Gorathlad. Here, I thought they would be two separate areas, is why I continued going so far to the south. I 
should hopefully pop up on our map here shortly. And once we can get past this outcrop, we'll be able to go further to the north. We are coming across one of those silent watchers there. That give you the dread. So it makes me think we are probably heading into an area that may contain what we're after. Let's head to the north and to the east. This is about as far east of the Mayathad as it is possible to get. See, we are definitely to the east. I don't see any plants that just trying to stay away from wargs as much as possible don't get too close to them don't know if it's true or not it's merely anecdotal evidence but it does seem like the dogs have a little bit easier time sniffing you out and finding you than other mobs you might come across. And there we go, there's Nightshade. All right, so here we are. First Nightshade we've come across. You see where we are on the map here, just to the north of that little forested area. And let's see if we can't collect up some of these. I'm willing to bet that we're not up to collecting black ash yet, are we? Oh, we are. Okay. I didn't know we were that high up on the list. What about ancient silver? Are we collecting that yet? No, we're not up to that. It was one of them. All right, more nightshade up here. If we can weave back and forth between the diggers and the wargs. Half of them down. See if we can find the rest. More nightshade. I'll grab these branches too while we're at it. Sure, we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, squawk, squawk, squawk. The nightshade. And let's see if we can't find one more in this area. Surely. Yep, there we go. Another one right down the hill here. It looks like we might have to take out that orc to get to it. Easy enough. Or perhaps the warg. Whichever one of y'all wants to come close. Hmm, <coughs> barrel shards. Remember when those things only fell off of creatures? And difficult ones to defeat at that. The shards used to come after your named animals in these areas. You'd have the named NPCs and things. And that's where you got your shards from. Back whenever people were really a lot more into uh, a lot more into crafting than most of them are now all right let's see where we are there we are gonna try and see if we can't cut straight across and then head to the north so here we go and I will once again join back up with you whenever we get successfully back to the road As 
another nightshade there should we have needed it. All right, we seem to be getting our way out of the forest, back out here into the blighted acid swamps. Boy, if that wasn't a difficult place to get out of. There we go, passing the G. Whew, that was a mess and a half to get out of. So many little dead ends and all back there in those hills. It's like every place we tried to get through right there just led to kind of a dead end canyon. So we are going to head back to the north now. Mount up. And see if we can't get back to the little dwarven outpost. Drop off these three quests. And I'm wondering if that will actually give us enough faction now with the rangers of the north to enable us to use the horse right outside of the stable, right outside of Gathforthnir. But you've got to have acquaintance status, and we haven't quite reached it yet. So maybe with these three and any items we picked up in the loot over here, any of the... Uh, the uh, faction items maybe we'll be able to pull it off let's see how it goes and we'll see you once we hit the top of the hill there okay we're coming back up on the outpost here climbing the hill above Imlad Balkorth and all the undead things got here without too much trouble we had one little archer that Gave us a little bit of a hassle, but didn't take very long to get on past him. So let's talk to our people here and see what we can find out. All right, Birger, what have you got to tell this us? This is unthinkable. The Highwayman. Very good. If nothing else, this money allows me to offer you a reward. Perhaps more important are these orders. They could possess valuable information about troop dispositions in the North Downs. I will make sure to look over these orders and make sure they find their way to the Rangers of Stelden. My Doran's beard! Kay. Won't you give me even a moment? And this one is a small fellowship which we will not be taking on to discover this lot missing library here. All right, what about you, Offlar? Greetings. The tincture. Very good. The tincture should be easy enough to prepare. With the liquor I always already possess, I will have it ready in but a moment. How much we want to bet it gives us a fellowship or a small fellowship. Will you help me? Yep, another fellowship where we had to pour them on the monument. So I think we will, <laughs> we will bypass that as well. Let us go over here and talk to Thorod. Well met. The foul waters. Excellent. I will study this water and attempt to glean what knowledge I can from it, though an elf would be better suited to the task. We still have much work to do. Come and stay a moment. And another small fellowship. It's good to uh, be able to predict where all this is going. I didn't see you before, Sigar. What do you have? Come and stay a moment. Defeat whites. Oh, well, that could have been easy enough while we were down there. Destroy the whites. They haunt my dreams. I want off this forsaken rock and back under my own. Please help, good friend, and eliminate these shambling whites. Thin their number, and perhaps our guards will no longer have to deal with the threat of them every night. They lie in wait to the west in Imlad Balkorth. Destroy as many whites there as you can, then return to me. I do not know why we ever came to this abominable land. There is no wealth in this waste. But I want out, even if it means cutting down every walking corpse in Angmar. That we can do. All right. So I think that is where we are going to call it for now. Next time, we will pick up from here. In fact, before we do that, let me see if we've got any reputation items. Any things that we can... Right click on. And get any war dispatches. Yep, that's one. Let's right click and get another 700. Bone amulets, I think. Yep. I 
think that's it. We didn't get a lot of faction this time. We could turn them in for tasks, of course. But instead, we're going to talk to the provisioner over here, I think. I'm going to sell off the loot. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. And next time, we will go white hunting. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Just to give you a heads up, we found that we got war dispatches. I did not realize that we had them. We've completed the quest known to the Council of the North. Whoops, wrong one. Let's see here. All right, we got turbine points. We got the uh, known in Gath Forthnir. That should be the one that gives us the, yep, acquaintance standing. So we now have acquaintance standing. We will be able to uh, get friend of the Council of the North, uh, which will give us a travel discount. And our reputation has changed. We're now an acquaintance. So we will finally be able to use the horse stable up here to uh, travel back and forth to Gathforthnir and we'll be able to move our milestone once again. So there you go, just a little addendum to it. In fact, I will go ahead and finish these. Dump and dump. There, we got all the faction taken over. And I'm going to continue selling off my loot. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.